Liza here. Welcome back to another video. We are moving right along through Inktober despite some minor setbacks. So today I will be working on prompt number 13, which happens to be Dune. In case you're new here, my name is Liza Compass and I love making videos about art, music, and my creative journey as a whole. This year, I've challenged myself to make daily time-lapse videos to go along with each of my drawings. So even though I was feeling sick all last week, I am determined to catch up. So here we go. I'm trying something a little different for this drawing, so it will be interesting to see if this actually turns out the way I have it pictured in my head. But I guess we'll see. My drawing today is really straightforward. I mean, I'm drawing literal sand dunes. I know, I know, super creative, right? But whenever I think of sand dunes, my mind wanders off to desert lands, off to places like Egypt and the incredible intrigue of ancient lands, people, and civilizations. I've always had an innate fascination with Egypt, ever since I was a small child. I remember collecting piles of history books on Egypt, archaeology, and other ancient worlds as soon as I began learning to read. Egypt and its mysteries have captivated the world for millennia, and so many of us feel connected to it in ways that we cannot logically explain. I actually find it pretty ironic that I'm using wet ink washes to portray such a dry landscape, but I want this drawing to feel like a mystery in that of itself. I want it to capture the magic that I feel emanating from this land. Ancient Egyptians were without a doubt completely ahead of their time. They possessed knowledge of the universe and advanced understandings related to astronomy, medicine, math, and science that logically should have never been possible for people of the ancient past. And to this day, we still cannot fully explain how the pyramids of Giza were even built. I mean, Egyptologists have presented their theories, but honestly, they are a fanciful stretch of reality to say the least. In fact, many critics argue that we wouldn't even be able to build these pyramids today, not even with the best equipment and technologies that modern science has to offer. All I'm saying is, there just has to be more to the story than we've been told. And like I said, our modern world is still obsessed with Egypt with influential groups, societies, even governments adopting Egyptian symbology for purposes of good, evil, and everything else in between. But the real question is why? I feel there is so much more to be explored here beyond what we see on the surface. And while I don't want to tell you what you should or should not believe or think, I do urge you to do so for yourself. After all, the truth is not taught. It cannot be found in books alone, or from the lips of man. The highest truth that we may ever strive to seek is realized from within. So ask yourself what it means to truly see, to understand that which is just beyond the veil of our physical reality. Could it be the people of ancient Egypt understood such things all along? I guess it all just depends on your perspective on your perception of reality, and of course, if and what you are willing to see. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be posting a video every single day throughout the month of October. So if you liked this and you want to see more, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of the video, and of course, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and join this amazing and growing family. I'm also running a giveaway all throughout the month of October, so if you want to find out how you can win some art from me, like the drawing you saw today, make sure to check the description box below for all the things you can win and how to enter. And as always guys, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Keep creating and I will see you in my next video.